Hola guys, welcome to my channel. On this video, I'd be ranting about uh, choosing the right video card for you. Well, um, I'd be running down some cards. Uh, it just so happened that I'm in need of a video card myself. And what I've decided on buying is the RTX 4070. Now, before buying this one, I actually waited for a review to come out in regards to the AMD's 7700 XT and 7800 XT and 7800 XT performance really good in regard, especially in regards to its pricing right but I'm actually uh, willing to pay an additional hundred dollars and get get this one instead uh, more on that later on so let's do our rundown let's start with the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte version I'm using the I'm on tech power-ups website you know uh, if you research uh, GPU specifications this website is a really good tool in determining its relative performance when being compared to other cards right so tech power-up link in the description field below or just type it in tech power-up and yeah um, 4060 Ti or rather, in regards to video cards right now, the 4000 and 7000 series, um, some tech tubers I don't really agree because um, they're comparing it with previous generation in regards to its rasterization performance. No problem there. No problem there. A regular consumer will definitely want a better rasterization performance. Um, especially if you're not into ray tracing and AI stuff um, very understandable right but what you have to understand is the technology you're buying the card with all right because like for example in uh, the 4000 series it has tensor cores the fourth gen one which is which provides significant uplift when compared to uh, previous uh, tensor core generation so that's one uh, upscaling capability is definitely better and yeah and it's compatibility um, me I don't only use these cards for gaming I also do a bit of productivity work and I have a media server as well that really really prefers Nvidia cards uh, I'm referring to Plex media server um you could work uh amd cards could work fine if you're using linux but uh, i prefer windows so uh plex prefers nvidia in regards to my video editing software wondershare i'm using wondershare to edit this video right now but it works with amd cards it, it worked fine with my 6600 xt and no problem but i'm trying to learn Adobe Premiere now and that prefers an NVIDIA card and XSplit uh, it prefers and Elgato it both prefers NVIDIA over AMD so your mileage may vary if you're not into those things or you know some of its features you're fine if they're not if they're inhibited then fine uh, AMD will be a better choice right and but in regards to budget 4060 ti um here in the philippines it's priced at 27,000 pesos so between it may be a good choice over 7700 xt if you're using it for productivity as well um low vram count may not be a problem a big problem at least but it should work but with the 7700 xt um just make sure uh, like for example uh if you're not really using adobe premiere like you're just using wondershare shouldn't be a problem 7700 xt with its current price may make a better option all right but if you're using 4060 Ti and you're actually fond of using frame gen and DLAA, all those stuff, it may be a better choice because FSR3 is still not out, so we cannot put that into the equation as well. So in that regard, 
4060 Ti may be a better option. Now, 7700 XT is really nice if you compare that with the 4060 Ti. But again, um, if for some reason you have a software that's only compatible with the uh, NVIDIA cards, sorry <laughs> the 7700 xt is not for you but if you could make it work uh it may be a better option but i actually agree with the other tech tubers saying they only released 7700 xt to make it easier for you to decide and buy the 7800 xt instead i agree guys for 50 more dollars you could get yourself a 7800 xt that could perform better than an RTX 4070. Um, RTX 4070. Um, this is the bo this is the card I bought after seeing the 7800 XT video. Uh, basically, uh, again, I'm using it for productivity, so I'm more inclined into buying an Nvidia as of the moment. All right, uh, that's basically it. No. There's no point in buying a better performing card, but it won't work with a certain application that I'm using, right? So that's basically it. Uh, I was actually debating between 4070 and 4070 Ti, but here's the case, or uh, yeah, here's the case. Uh, 4070 Ti won't actually fit into the computer I'd be using it on in the future because, for example, this 4070, I think I'd only be using this card for like until the 50 series video cards come out. So I'd like to keep using this card still after. So I'd be transferring this card into my other computer. So form factor plays a big role. And if your case, computer case, could own, like for example, you're building yourself an ITX case, right? Um, the 4070 may not be a bad choice if you know what you'd be using it for. What monitor will you be buying? A 1440p? This should be no problem. 1080, if you're still rocking a 1080p monitor, no problem in that. 4070 should perform very good. Very good in that regard. 1440p, I even play on 4K with this thing. No problem. I use it with DLSS 3, um, performance great, I'm not really particular with the picture quality, I'm not into that, latency, I'm not, it's not, uh, I don't notice it, but if latency is a big hit for you, you might want uh, to get a better card, and with a better rasterization performance, right? And if that's the case, 7800 XT may be a better option. Uh, again, 7800 XT, very good card, especially, well, because of its pricing, basically, right? Um, but what I don't uh, agree with other tech tubers is um, they keep comparing it with the previous gen, but. Yeah, uh, we have to have a baseline, right? I, I, I get that. But all I'm saying is the reason you're buying the 4000 and 7000 series is because of its software capabilities. Um, AI Tensor Core, as I've mentioned, Tensor Core for the 4000 series. Uh, the 7000 series, not much. They don't have Tensor Cores yet. Um, but in AMD, they're really hanging on to the FSR3 which could give a better performance jump if you're into that kind of thing but again fsr3 is still not out and i don't fsr3 will actually work with the 6000 series but the 7000 series is already here and i'm not really inclined into uh suggesting to buy go your go buy yourself a second hand gpu i've ex I've had a very bad experience in buying a secondhand GPU. I was able to buy a secondhand 3070 for a very, 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 very good price, but after three weeks, it died on me. So maybe if you'd be buying the car, 
the card from a friend of yours and you know he took good care of it maybe and if the price is you know uh, you're willing to to gamble on its longevity maybe probably but brand new card like for example 7800 XT is just 4% better than the 6800 XT right does that mean I'd rather buy the 6800 XT for 50% off the price probably like if I'd be able to buy this 6800 XT for $300 no contest there I'd be getting this one right away but I don't see that happening anytime soon so I'd much prefer getting the new gen uh, video card right uh, same applies for 4070 between you know uh, 4070 and 3080 does that mean I prefer a brand new 3080 definitely not uh, I, I, I don't see any 4080 cards or rather 3080 cards lower than 45,000 pesos here in the Philippines or some somewhere in that range right so nah if I'd be able to get 18,000 pesos second hand it might make me think but then again I'd have that you know uncertainty on or rather this nagging voice that's saying it's about to fail on you it's about to fail on you something like that never mind I don't like the stress uh, especially uh, that I've had a bad experience already right you should learn from your mistakes they say and yeah um, next one is the 7800 XT as I've mentioned really good gaming performance the only reason I didn't get this card was I was really hoping um, there'd be a miracle that it'll be performing near 4070 Ti uh, range but that wasn't the case if if it was I would have gotten this one instead regardless if it's not working with Adobe Premiere <laughs> something like that but I have to consider my productivity work as well that's why I chose 4070 over 7800 XTX but in regards to gaming only 7800 XT is a great option guys um, 7700 XT's pricing doesn't make sense uh, I really believe if the 7700 XT's price somewhere $290 lower than uh, maybe three or rather $380 or lower than $400 maybe the 7700 XT may be a good buy. I really agree that it's just there to make you decide to get the 7800 XT uh, instead, right? And yeah, or if your productivity application uh, is compatible with AMD cards, definitely you should be getting yourself a 7800 XT instead of the 4070. Now, um, 4070 Ti is a really good card, albeit uh, having a 12GB VRAM only, but I'm not really into uh, future-proofing my uh, myself. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is 4070 Ti actually beat my previous card, the 3090. I was actually planning on replacing my 3090 with only the 4070 Ti 12GB of VRAM yeah a bit low when compared to 3090 but if it's for gaming it should work fine um, what I'm trying to say here is 4070 Ti is 50,000 pesos 55 and 4080 is around 80,000 pesos if your concern is I'd be getting the 4080 because of its VRAM count, expecting it to last longer, that's wrong reasoning, guys. Uh, 4070 Ti should work with future titles. At the very least, it should last a couple of years. All right. Now, if you're thinking you'd be getting the 4080 Ti because of its higher VRAM count, 
try and imagine just buy yourself a 4070 ti now save yourself a save yourself a how much is that how much is 4070 ti is how much is this $800 4080 is $1,200 save yourself $400 and after two three years time the the performance is not app it, it does not meet your standards buy yourself the next gen 6070 ti right something like that um but if you're playing 4k and want better performance totally different scenario um what we don't want to do is i'd be buying myself a 4070 ti play it on 4k and rely on upscaling technology hoping that it'll improve in time same same uh same could be said with uh, fsr3 fsr3 is still not out we, we really can't put that into equation into the equation so we wouldn't want to rely on upscaling technology but it is good as of the moment 4070 with its upscaling features being supported with the current games that i have i'm good with it 4k no problem but we cannot rely on that with future titles, future driver updates. It's hard to, uh, you, you know, we, we don't do it like that. Um, know what you need. Know the performance that you need. That's what you buy. Try to have, try to anticipate future titles maybe, but don't base your decision on that. All right. Um, that's not what future proofing is about. All right. Uh, don't expect to buy the 4090 and expect it to last for the next 10 years. doesn't work like that. Uh, 7900 XT uh, definitely is a better option in regards to gaming rasterization wise over 4070 Ti. Uh, again, if you have a bit of productivity, uh, that should help you out, help you decide. Um, but pure gaming, 7900 XT is no problem. It does play nice or the specs seems fine um yeah um next is a 7900 xcx if your monitor again you'd only be buying these cards if you have the proper hardware as well right i mean monitor as well right doesn't make sense to rock a 4080 with a 1080p monitor or even a 1440p monitor with a ridiculously low refresh rate right so yeah uh 7900 xc um good um what do you call this i could see why there's a bit of hesitation choosing between 7900 xc and 4070 ti better vram count if if that's important to you 7900 xc but don't solely uh decide Higher VRAM count is always the better option. Doesn't work like that, guys. Um, VRAMs, um, you have to understand it's not because Last of Us, right? Part 1. That's basically where it started. Um, it's not because it's showing that um, the memory being used is 90%. It's not that the game is actually using 90% of the VRAM. No only 90% allocated to the game so that you know uh, it'll be able to grab that memory in case it needs it but it doesn't necessarily use it all right and yeah uh, 7900 XTX and the 4080 um, basically same price point um, pretty similar pretty similar discussion between 4070 Ti and the 7900 XT but 7900 XTX does have better uh, video output options and that's basically it 4080 good card great card yeah but 7900 XTX has its uh, advantages as well lower pricing uh, when compared to 
to the 4080 that's basically it if 4080 is priced a bit lower yeah basically if you're playing with ray tracing on 4080 is the clear winner winner <laughs> winner uh compared to 7900 xtx same applies for 4070 ti and 7900 xt um 4060 ti and 7700 xt um yeah but if if you're good with ray tracing off amd is the clear winner for 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 those partners right and rtx 4090 well all i can say is i had my 3090 before when i first got the 4090 the performance is quite noticeable um, in gaming, especially in 4K. Don't get me wrong, 4070i and up, 6950 XT and up. Uh, these cards here, playing in 4K, max settings, no problem. Not too sure with the 4070i with its 12 gigabytes of VRAM, but uh, should be no problem. A bit of adjustment here and there probably for this 4070 ti um my point earlier know what you need uh watch some reviews if it can deliver no problem with uh the 12 gigabyte vram uh, again uh if you're if you're concerned of your vram count and that's what made you decide in getting the 7900 XCX or the 4090. No, uh, it's not as simple as that, guys. Don't expect for the for these cards to last 10 years. And, you, you know, it doesn't work like that. Future proofing doesn't work like that, all right? And, yeah, th that's basically it for the RTX 4090. It's a beast. That's all there is to it. All right, I hope you guys find this video entertaining. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. If you haven't still, subscribe as well if you want to. And as always, see you in the next one.